the western end of the South Downs, the park fans out north across an area known as the Weald. It's a very different landscape with its own unique wildlife and history. Look at this. This is Blackdown Hill. It's the highest point in Sussex. And it's a part of the national park that I, I was completely unaware of. This habitat was created by meltwater from the last ice age, which has eroded all the chalk, just leaving clay and acidic green sand. And that has created this rare habitat called lowland heath. And the kings and the lords that own this land would have probably given it away, let it out um, to the locals to graze their cattle because the agricultural value here is pretty minimal. The name heathen actually stems from those who would have lived and worked on this land. Imagine what they must have been like. With its rare mix of dry heathland and ponds, this part of the Weald is of great value to wildlife. It is the only area in Britain that can claim to have all 12 native species of amphibians and reptiles. And just a couple of miles from here, on Marley Common, I'm hoping to find Britain's only venomous snake. Senior ranger Matt Bramich from the National Trust and biologist Lucy Struthers have been tagging and tracking the adders here for two years. We haven't caught this one before. OK. So we're quite excited. Oh, yes. Is it female? Yes. Yeah. Oh, isn't she lovely? How old, how old do you think she is now? They can live up to uh, 30 years. Oh, I didn't know that. No. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. <laughs> Amazing. And uh, she will give birth in late August, September. Then she goes on a month-long feeding frenzy before retiring to hibernate. Typically, she'll be in the underground for six months. Wow. Mm. 25 grams. Once the tag is on, what information are you hoping to garner? This year, I'm hoping to establish where they go to post-breeding. That would be a really important thing for, for us as, as land managers to know about. The adders travel between their feeding and breeding areas on the pockets of heathland across the wheel. By understanding where they're going, Matt hopes to better protect them and the wildlife corridors they need to maintain a healthy population. Very neat. In Australia, I saw a snake on the ground and I said to the guy, you know, what happens if that bites you? And he said, if that one bites you, just sit down and have a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go. It's time for her to go back to her world now. So I'm just going to put her down. There she goes. Oh, is that beautiful? 